not being given a reason. They're just being denied. A battle is brewing over religious exemptions days after the vaccine mandate deadline for the Marines passed. As ABC 10 News reporter Michael Chen tells us, a local Marine has joined the legal fight to force the Marines to grant exemptions. In September, we spoke to Camp Pendleton Marine Lance Corporal Matthew Northcutt, enlisted for more than two years, right before he applied for a religious exemption to the COVID vaccine. My personal value is my personal morals because I, I don't know about others, but personally, I can't betray what I feel. In all, some 95% of Marines are now at least partially vaccinated days after the vaccine deadline passed. Meanwhile, Northcutt's request for a religious exemption was denied and is now under appeal. He's not alone. So far, the Marine Corps has rejected every request it has processed so far for a religious exemption, more than 1,900. Northcutt is one of the plaintiffs in a federal lawsuit against the military's religious exemption process. Lead attorney Matt Staver. The religious exemption issue is is a sham. In fact, they're not intending to grant any of these exemptions. They have over 16,643 exemption requests, at least that we know of. Not a single one has been granted. And this includes even religious exemption requests from chaplains of all people. The Pentagon has repeatedly emphasized the importance of vaccines and military readiness. Earlier this month, during a visit to San Diego, Navy Secretary Carlos Del Toro said decision day is coming for unvaccinated sailors and Marines. Folks who decide not to get vaccinated are probably going to have to make a choice whether they want to stay in the Department of the Navy or not. Staver says some of his plaintiffs have already been directed into the separation process for a general discharge under honorable conditions. Loss of your GI benefits. As for Northcutt, if he loses his appeal, he says he's ready to leave the Marines. Michael Chen, ABC 10 News. In a statement, a Department of Defense spokesperson says on average, religious exemptions are rare as they have been for many years. A hearing on the lawsuit could come in the next few weeks.